Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And someone recently asked, can you make both the X and Y axis dynamic on, let's say, a line chart or a column chart? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you. Stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. All right, dynamic X and Y axis. Is it possible in Power BI? Someone asked this question on a live stream and I, both Adam and I were like, I don't, I think, and I went and tried it. And you can actually do it. So you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So let's say you have a column chart or a line chart. So I have my line chart and you have both an X and Y axis, typically on on the Y axis, you would put a measure, some type of additive value. And then on the X axis, you would put a string value or a date or something like that. And same thing for my column chart. And what they wanted to know was, can we make both of those axes dynamic? And I had a thought and I was like, I think you can use field parameters, the new field parameter feature to do it. I've been struggling on what I was gonna do a video on for field parameters and I think this is it. Let me show you. Let's leave this stack column chart here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of color and we're gonna get rid of freight. I'm gonna create two different field parameters. So we're gonna go to modeling, we're gonna choose new parameter, we're gonna choose fields. And we're gonna call this one X axis. We're gonna choose color, we're gonna choose gender, we're gonna choose country, and even subcategory. We're gonna click create. If you're not familiar with the field parameters, there's tons of videos, tons of content out there, and you should go read the documentation. It's a great new feature that was released recently as of the recording of this video in Power BI. When you create that field parameter, it automatically adds a slicer to the page. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose subcategory, go back over to my column chart here. I'm gonna take that particular column from my field parameter and drag it to my X axis. And so you can see if I choose it, right, it's changing the name of it, the label for that X axis to different selections. And then what would you do for the Y axis? Well, create another field parameter. So we're gonna go back to modeling and we're gonna choose new, so new parameter fields. We're gonna call this one the Y axis. And then we're gonna add our measures here because typically on the Y axis you have measures. So we're gonna add total freight and we're gonna add total sales. If you keep this checkbox checks, it'll add the slicer to the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create and there's my Y axis slicer. So I'm gonna go back to my stack column chart and I'm gonna add this guy right here to the Y axis. And now you can see both, right? Total freight and total sales. If I choose total freight, a Y axis is now based on total freight. If I choose total sales, it's gonna be based on total sales. And if I choose color, gender, sales territory, country, subcategory, it just all works and it's completely dynamic. All right. What do you guys think? Now you have dynamic X and Y axis on different visuals in Power BI. Have you tried this before? Is this something you've been thinking about and you just couldn't solve? I'd love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.